Hi, I'm Jameson Mitchell and I'd like to welcome you to this week's Oracle Outlook. In this video, I'll be doing a Lenormand card reading for the week starting July the 4th. It's a holiday week, July the 4th, 2016, so stay tuned. And here we are with the cards on the table and the deck assisting me for this week's reading is the Piatnik Lenormand and I'll hold the box a little closer so you can see it. This is considered one of the more traditional um, Lenormand decks and it is uh, printed and published in Austria. So again this is the Piatnik Lenormand. And now I'm going to do what I usually do in these general weekly readings. I'm going to take the deck in hand and I'm shuffling the cards and I'm asking what do we need to know about the week ahead, you know, in terms of guidance being offered to help us make this week the best possible week we can have as an experience. And it will be interesting to see what the cards say because in light of the fact that this is the week in which we're celebrating Independence Day, if you're here in the United States like I am, okay, I'm going to take the deck now, I'm going to cut it. For the Lenormand, I do a line of five, so I'm going to lay the cards out right from the top of the deck. And this is our line for the week. So when I'm reading Lenormand, if you've been following my videos for a while now, you know that when I do a line of five, I always start with the center card because the center card tells me what the influence is or what the central issue or the basis for the week could be. So here we have the coffin. Okay, so the coffin is a card that represents endings and, com and completion. So it could be a week where things are coming to an end, things are being completed. I tend to look at the coffin card as something being finalized. So it could be that there may be a project or an endeavor that some of us watching this video are working on and it could be um, having that be finalized. The coffin card is also a card of limitation or restriction, so it could be that some of us are going to be influencing some form of limitation or restriction of some kind, um, maybe even some kind of confinement. I tend to look at coffin as a, a confining space, so maybe some confinement. It could be there could be issues where um, either we are closing off ourselves to people or situations or things as I tend to see coffin as something that closes so it could be something closed off and it could be a place where we are experiencing some kind of shutdown again going with the idea that the coffin is something that can be shut so it could be you know the idea of you know being shut down in some way or some uh, thing is being shut or closed I'm seeing like in my head and I don't the other cards around it would confirm this or not but like something you know being shut down like a like a building something being shut down or a business being shut down you know or closed or something of that nature so it'll be interesting to see like I said what the surrounding cards are but again coffin for me represents ending completion limitation restriction some sort of confinement and something either being closed off or shut down. Um, as a card by itself, it could just represent the idea here that there may be, uh, and especially if the tree is one of the surrounding cards, you know, somebody dealing with an illness or some kind of situation in which some rest is, is needed because I see this as rest, you know, the idea that the coffin is in some way a resting place so it could be like you know getting a rest or a bed or something of that nature or something being stored away so um, but that's the coffin that's the central card so now look to the cards that are immediately flanking it for more information okay we have the fox on the left and 
we have the writer on the right. So the fox for me is a card that can represent one's craft, um, one's skill. So this can be a card where we're either talking about a job of some kind. So it could be like the end, a job comes to an end. So I'm seeing that. Or that somebody's, you know, uh, was working and now they're in a you know place where they need to take a break or they need a rest or something of that nature going with the pairing here but fox is a card that like I said represents uh, craft it represents skill um, it represents one's self-employment or a part-time job so those are usually my go-to's for the fox on the other end here we have the rider and so the rider can represent something arriving it could be like a visitor uh, it could also be about news or messages. That's usually my first go-to is news or messages. So if we look at the pairing of Fox and Ryder, it could be, you know, um, news or message about a job or somebody's craft or skill. And it could also be the arrival of someone with red hair because I tend to look at the Fox as a red-haired person. So, um, but I'm going to go with the immediate pair here of Fox and Coffin, it could be like um, there may be you know, a job coming to an end. So that would make sense in what I was seeing about something being closed or something being shut. It could be maybe somebody who's self-employed is making the decision to end that, you know, and then having to communicate that if we carry over the writer, having to communicate that, like news being put out there that some sort of uh, self-employment venture is coming to an end. So I'm seeing that. Um, it could also be, too, that going with the idea here about maybe rest, possibly, or, you know, some sort of illness. It could be then the fox card for me would be a matter of survival. I tend to look at the fox as, as an animal that does what it needs to do in order to survive. So it could be like the idea here, like, in order to survive, one has to get some rest and they're being told that they're getting news that they have to get some sort of rest but I'm going to go with the idea here the immediate thing that's jumping out at me is that there could be somebody's business or you know um, coming to an end or if we go with the idea here this just jumped out at me um, a job maybe you know a person looking for work and that search is coming to an end and you know like Maybe they become a finalist in some sort of like interview process, you know, for a job. And it's like they get news that they're, you know, a finalist or it may be like their last interview. And so they get told like that job is closed or, they, you know, I'm getting that kind of energy, like a job that maybe has been searched for is being closed and being told that. So I'm seeing that as possibilities. So now the other cards on the outer ends could give us more, even more detail. So. We have on this side, we have the mountain on the left, and on the right, we have the tower. Okay, so now this makes it more official here at the end with the tower. The tower is a card for me that can represent institutions. It could represent a company, which would make sense here with the fox being a card about an employee. So here we have a, a company or a corporation, you know, some kind of firm, institution. It could be like something becoming official with the tower being the last card in the line it could be like news that becomes official if we go here with the pairing this is just jumping out of me in the moment like this becomes official news so the writer is news or a message and then the tower is what describes that kind of message so it could be news or a message that becomes official so again it makes more sense with what i was saying about maybe like a person searching for a job then they become a finalist and then news of them getting the job becomes official. So I'm seeing that. Now here with the tower cards, um, not the tower, excuse me, the mountain card starting things off, it could say whatever this this began, maybe this job search began as, you know, uh, something that was um, challenging, something that was an obstacle, something that maybe had a lot of um, setbacks or delays, or maybe something that was postponed because those are all aspects or characteristics of the mountain for me. So it was something that started off challenging and it maybe ends on, a, on a, a better note. So it could be like somebody who was looking for work and maybe there's been some sort of delays or setbacks or challenges with that. You know, that finally comes to an end, finally, with the coffin and news of them getting the job 
becomes official. So that is how I would read the line. Something that started off challenging becomes official. But with that in the end, it's like official news. So I'm seeing that as the possibility. So that was how I read the line. And so now the next thing we can do to kind of see what more we could glean from this line is we looked at the image and the keywords associated with the image. So now I'm going to look at the playing card to see what additional insight they can offer. And now taking a look at the playing cards, we have the eight of clubs on the mountain. We have the nine of clubs on the fox. You have the nine of diamonds on the coffin, the nine of hearts with the rider, and the six of spades with the tower. So the first thing that jumps out at me is that we have two cards from the suit of clubs. And so in Cartomancy and in particular with the Lenormand, clubs is actually a challenging suit. If you look at all the cards that are associated or have the clubs on them, they are usually the challenging cards and so we have two here because the mountain can represent obstacles, blocks, challenges, that's some of the meanings of it. And then on the uh, challenging side of the fox, the fox can represent something that's being taken advantage of, some sort of manipulation, some sort of um, craftiness in its good sense and its challenging sense. So that's where we have and there are other cards in along those lines that have clubs in them that are also challenging so um, I look at it that way another way that I tend to look at the suit of clubs is that it can represent um, job and work related issues and so I touched on that with the fox being a card that can represent job and employment um, being uh, potentially a situation that's showing up in the cards. So I'm seeing that. The next thing that jumps out at me is that the three middle cards are all nines. We have the nine of clubs, we have the nine of diamonds, and the nine of hearts. So the number nine repeats three times. So nine for me is a number that can represent attainment. So here we are, it's about something being attained possibly, and that would make sense in light of the fact that maybe uh, somebody looking for work actually finds work with a company or institution or something of that nature or you know the idea here is that they attain some sort of um, expansion with their business if they're self-employed because the tower can also represent self-employment it can also represent like expansion you know something being elevated then it could be that there is some sort of change with that status. like. But I'm going to guess with this could also be about maybe the idea here about maybe even a promotion. If you go with the idea here that the person here on the Fox card is an employee, then it could be like somebody moving up the ranks and this could be about promotion if you go with the idea here that the tower is an elevation in status. So those are some possibilities there I'm seeing. But the three nines in a row is a, you know showing me something being attained. So what I usually do with the playing cards is that Sticking with the coffin being the central issue, I tend to look at the playing cards on each side. So here we're going to look at the eight of clubs and the nine of clubs. And on the other side, we're going to look at the nine of hearts and the six of spades as offering more insight. So what I do is I look at these cards and I add them together. So here we have eight and nine. So eight and nine adds to 17. And I look for the corresponding card in the deck. So the 17th card in the deck is the stork. So the stork is actually a wonderful card because it does show here, going with the idea here, that coffin is about something coming to an end or some sort of completion or um, something being finalized, then this card would suggest, the stork, that there is some sort of change taking place and something improving. And that's good to see on this side with the mountain being a card that can represent a challenge or setback or delay. With the stork here, it's saying to like it's changing and changing for the better possibly it's improving and so there, there may be oh and movement you know this is a card about movement because the stork is a card of migration and moving on so there could be some sort of movement so something that was stuck and and not moving is now moving and that could also be like there could be a a literal move so it could be like uh, again like I said with the idea of a promotion maybe that would be a move but it could also be like maybe a geographic move of some kind and maybe that's tied to work. 
So I'm seeing that as the energy of this dork. And the last thing with making sense with the writer in the line, then stork is about something being delivered. So it could be like this news being delivered in some capacity. So I'm seeing that with this stork on the one side. And then here we have 9 and 6, that's 15. And the 15th card in the deck is the bear. And so now here on this side especially, this would make a lot of sense because here we have the fox, and I said the fox could be an employee. Here on this side we have the bear, and the bear, when we're talking about a work-related issue, can be a manager, somebody who is the boss, somebody who's a leader, somebody who's an authority. Uh, somebody who has some level of influence, and that would dovetail very nicely with the tower. Again, being the you know a company or corporation, then this would be either somebody who's at the top, like who's the head of the company or the corporation, or somebody who has a managerial or supervisory position within the company. Somebody who has a great deal of power or influence, regardless of whether the person is actually the CEO or not. This person has some sort of power or influence. So I'm seeing that. And that could be the person who gives the news about this promotion. And it could literally be that the person is an employee and now they're moving up the ladder and now they're moving into a managerial position, which is the news that becomes official. You know, that kind of thing. And it could be like the person's been on this road for a while, you know, moving up the ladder, so to speak, because of the. Um, mountain being the first card. So that's how I would read these. So we have a change possibly in uh, a leadership position going with the idea here that the stork is here too and that represents a change. So it could be a change in, in position, in, in status, in authority, that kind of thing. So I'm seeing that. So the last thing we can do is take the cards and add them all up and that would give us the essence card from the playing card standpoint. So we have the eight, we have three nine, so nine plus nine plus nine, then we have six. And that gives us a total of 41. And so there are 36 cards in deck. So when I get a number over 36, I take the digits, add them together. So we have four and one, that is five. And it's very interesting because now this brings in the tree, which what I saw earlier. That's a possibility here. So one possibility here is that, yes, somebody is healing from a, a possible illness and needing to get some rest as a result of that. So that is one form of that. And I'm only saying that because I did mention that. But here, keeping in context with most of the information that's been said, then the tree here could be about growth and development, and it could be about branching out. So I'm seeing that as a possibility, like whoever this person is that this may be speaking to or about, then this could be like the growth and development of their career, you know, them branching out in terms of moving from um, the status from one position to the other, from being an employee to a manager, you know, that kind of thing. And it could also be about the idea here, again, with the tower, the tree says the same thing because both cards can represent something that takes a long time because this can represent long life, both of these. Um, but with the tree, it represents patience and something that takes a long time to grow and develop because that's what trees do. Trees take a long time to grow and develop. And it could also be too, it's about the idea here about maybe being well connected if you go with the idea that the tree has branches and you know the branches are about you know connection. So it could be about like you know um, developing connections or somebody who is well connected and maybe a connection is what helps change for, uh, the status from being an employee to a manager. You know, the idea, I'm feeling like the energy in my head, it's like it's about uh, about who you know kind of thing. It's about being connected or having connections in order to kind of move up. So I'm seeing that as the idea here. And it could be like whatever uh, the change is, the change is designed, maybe if we go with the tower as being the company, the firm, the institution, it's all designed to help that establishment grow and develop even more. Now, it could also be, too, that, you know, with the tree being a card of health and healing, it could be an actual healing institution. So it could be either somebody is working as a healer and moving up 
in the industry or in the institution, a healing institution that way. So it could be actually a healing institution. So those are some possibilities with the tree. Again, for me, I'm seeing it as immediate growth and development, something that has been taking some time to grow and develop. You know, the person who this is speaking to needing to be patient with the process and maybe seeing the rewards of their patience. It's like, you know, I'm seeing in my head the idea like, you know, your patience pays off kind of energy. So I'm seeing that. And it could, but it could also be about um, an actual healing institution. So those are my thoughts about the playing cards. And so now the final thing we can do is we can look at the numerical values of the cards and to get what I call the final essence of the line from the numbers. All right, and we're back. And so the, in the first segment of this video, we looked at the cards from the image and the keywords associated with that. And then in the previous segment, we looked at the playing cards for additional advice or guidance about the situation being shown through the cards. And then the last thing we're going to do as we wrap up is we're going to look at the numerical values on all the cards and to, to, to determine what the essence is. So taking the numbers, I'm going to add 21, 14, 8, 1, and 19. And so that gives us a total of 63. Again, it's over 36. So six plus three is nine. And the ninth card in the deck is the bouquet. And this is a very nice card. The bouquet is a card that can represent a surprise. It can represent a gift. It can represent an invitation. It can represent um, appreciation. And going with the fox as a card that can represent skill then this is card is a card for me that represents talent. So I'm seeing this as this is something wonderful because the bouquet can represent something wonderful. But I'm getting the sense of like the news with the rider may come as a surprise or it could be news of an invitation or news of appreciation, um, that kind of energy. And so I'm going to say like this would be a nice card to have, especially if somebody is actually getting that promotion, moving up the ladder, or, you know, they've gotten to a place where they've been looking for a job and they actually finally got the job, that kind of energy. Then the bouquet is saying like, you know, maybe a sense of like uh, the joy and the beauty of life, you know, because this is all the good things in life. So I'm seeing that kind of energy. So it's just a matter of, again, maybe a gift, a surprise, some sort of invitation, like, you know, maybe the person being presented with the idea of like, would you like to uh, move into this position and, you know, that kind of energy. And then, you know, and then seeing that as a sign that your talent is being appreciated and recognized because this card can also be about like um, receiving some kind of award. If you stop and think like people give flowers when um, they're being um, acknowledged, they're being recognized or being awarded because I'm seeing like the idea of like, uh, and this is where I'm getting it, um, the idea of like Miss America or Miss USA or Miss Universe because the inset here with the bouquet is the queen of spades and so this combination can represent a woman who's attractive and so that's where that imagery kind of just ran off in my head about that because they give usually a beautiful woman flowers when she is recognized and she gets crowned whatever that title is in that beauty pageant so I'm seeing that as a possibility here so it's just kind of saying it's getting me to say that with the imagery like you know being recognized being crowned some sort of achievement something wonderful and it comes at some surprise because you know you never know who's going to be crowned until the end of the pageant so I'm seeing that as a possibility but anyway the bouquet as the final card is a wonderful card to receive and so this is going to wrap things up with this week's oracle outlook with the lenormand i am james him mitchell i am signing off and as i sign off i want to thank you for sharing this space with me and joining me for this week's reading and i look forward to us spending time together in this same space in the next oracle outlook and until then I'm wishing you a wonderful day. I'm hoping you have a wonderful week. And like I said, since this is the week of a holiday, I hope that you are healthy. I hope that you are happy. I hope you are uh, celebrating and enjoying your independence, however you do that. Uh, you know, let's all take a moment to appreciate the freedoms that we have in this world. 
because some people are not as free as the rest of us get to be. And so, you know, take a moment to acknowledge that and be thankful and grateful for that. And until we get together again, take care.